You read it right, lamb stew. You know, lamb, I don't, I think maybe we've had it in the 15 years we've been doing this show, we've had lamb maybe three times. And it's one of my favorite meats, it really is, but we, so, we find very few recipes for it for some reason. But Carol Brooks of Kent has got a beauty for us. It's lamb stew with chickpeas and pomegranate molasses. Where'd the recipe come from, dear? Actually, I have no idea, I don't remember. Right. I've been making it for so long and kind of changed it over the months and years. And you, you I don't added remember change, a little two yeah. things? Added and tweak it a little here. And a little I added bit. spinach to give it more nutritional value and Good generally. Idea. Okay, well, Great. Carol, you so. get together with Carol and then let's uh, let's see about doing some cooking. Where we get started. All right, let's get All right, let's yeah, girl. All right, since stew is not the easiest thing to demonstrate, we'll just, we use about two cups, two to three cups of red onions, mm -hmm. and you more or less finely dice them. Right. Something like this. You want, we want a small dice so like that. That's, yeah, that's pretty small. Yeah, yes. okay. I, I like the small okay. dice. I really do. You do? Yep. And then this goes go. into... Okay. And yep. we will... Oh, no, we already have up. the Some red already onions going. sorting and a little bit of vegetable oil. Very nice. So takes, these are all nice and soft. Oh, oh, they're beautiful. Takes eight George, to ten. Your, your favorite aroma over here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. There's nothing better than than cooking onions in, in your kitchen. It just everybody thinks, oh, that smells so good. Garlic's better. Really? I think I, garlic's I, better. Well, I, you know, I, I've never in tried. In olive oil. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. You see, you learn. That's why you want to get the DVD, folks. Now we we'll, these things are popping we do out about, all the time, and you get it if you get the DVD. Do about six cloves of garlic. All right. Okay. And which go into the onions. All right. Right at when they're almost done, you sauté the garlic for about what, 30, 40 seconds. In the meantime, we have the pan heating up here with a little bit of vegetable oil in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have our lamb. Put it into a pie pie plate. Carol, why is it we we have so few recipes for care for for lamb? Which well, Carol are you talking to? Either one, either one. <laughs> I think in our culture, a lot of people don't know how to cook lamb, and if you cook it badly, it tastes badly. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah. you know, unless you really know what you're doing with cooking lamb, it's probably not going to taste that wonderful. But if you have somebody who knows how to cook lamb and how to prepare it, it is truly, truly. This is it's a recipe. Awesome. This and is a sorry. No, no, go ahead. This is a recipe that has its origins in the Middle East, and mm -hmm. uh, they probably know what they're doing with lamb. Yes, well, they eat well, lots and lots of lamb. Yeah. When you put the lamb into the pot, you don't want the pieces close together. You want to leave a little bit of space between them. So they cook kind of all the way around. So they don't steam. Right. So can you see that in there? Yeah, see, there's lots of room around in there. Yeah. yeah. You want you to get would... nice brown stuff on there because that's flavor. Mm -hmm. That's about... Um, three minutes aside roughly mm -hmm. to get it nice and brown. And while that is browning, we get some carrots ready. All right. Again, it's, you want to have a sort of a medium dice on them. I find it makes it a lot easier to turn them over with tongues. Yes, than I'm sure it is. Yeah. 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 Then you can turn over. Because if you roll it too far, then you, you got to go. roll them back. And you're in there for a while. I'm just going to cut a few carrots. We don't need huh. all of them. There you go. There you go. Good sharp knife. Reasonably sharp. Especially, especially with carrots. It's the cook's <laughs> finest tool. Well, although one of my restaurant chef friends says his favorite tool in the kitchen is his food chef. <laughs> I have a food chef. Oh, you are lucky. Yes. I have a husband. <laughs> he also helps to clean up. Very nice. Now, that is a real husband, let me say. There you go. Oh, that's browning up nice. It, it is browning up very nice. Mmm, it smells good. It's very actually nice. getting nice and black at the bottom. It yeah, is. That's just, that just, that's, yes, that's, that's a good flavor. At the bottom. Yeah, always. Okay, so what happens after this? Okay, what happens after this is we will, the meat's almost done, we, we have some batches of meat already browned, we'll okay. okay. back in there. And we will put the onions All right. in there. What we usually do at home is we, I cook the onions in this pot, take them out, then brown the meat. But in the interest of time, we're doing it in separate right, pots. Right, right. right. 
which is a little bit more awkward. It's easier when you have it all. Well, and, and, you know, when point you point. get the cookbook, folks, at home, uh, don't try to rush these. No. You know, take your time. Uh, and later on, you'll be doing it as quickly as you go. do it on the air. Okay. Now you got Nice, That's huh? Good. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. Okay. Now, we're going to deglaze the pot to get off all those burnt bits at the bottom with a little bit of beef stock. There we go. And is this your own homemade beef stock? No, unfortunately not. It would probably be a lot better with... I got it. And? Can I have a small spoon for this? Sure. Yeah. And I see the magic ingredient in your hand there, pomegranate molasses. A little bit more, more. okay. Yes, and this is the magic ingredient, pomegranate molasses. Carol just gave you a great clue in cooking. It's awfully tough to take it out if you took too much in, but you can always add a little bit more if you're a little bit light. Mm. We're going to put the equivalent of about two tablespoons, folks. You don't want to put too much because it'll get too sweet. You can always add some later. So exactly. we'll keep it here in case we need to add it. Okay, we'll okay? do that. Mm. That's going to add such a depth of flavor to this. The reason I'm going to just put in beef stock a little at a time because I don't want this too thin Got and it. not too thick. Okay. So when you put your lamb in, you don't shake off all the flour so it's yet the gravy gets nice and thick. So now this has to simmer for a bit. This has to simmer until the lamb is almost tender, which you're talking about, depending on your lamb. 30, mm -hmm. maybe 40 minutes. Okay. okay. And once your lamb is almost tender, you will add one can of chickpeas, garbanzo beans, mm -hmm. um, drained, well rinsed to get all the sodium out, and about two cups of carrots. Okay. So shall we put that in? Chickpeas and sure. garbanzo beans are the same thing, is that right? Yes, they yes, are they the are. same They're thing. just different names. Yes. There you go. Thank you. And your carrots. Keep that on a very low flame. And simmer it go. slowly, maybe what, 15, 20 minutes until the you carrots know, just are just looks good in the, the pan, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Just it just looks so oh, colorful. It looks wonderful. It is good. This is great comfort food. While that is simmering, we need to turn our attention to the couscous. Okay. We have some chicken stock. Okay. Um, brought to an almost boil, just hot over there. Just hot. And okay. to which we will add a little bit of couscous. It is the heat has been turned off. I guess. So we just cover that, well, let like it that. hang out for about um, five minutes, and it should be done. Okay. In the meantime, we have some lettuce. You can use, uh, sorry, spinach. Spinach, ah. I think people are starting to cook mm -hmm. with fresh spinach more and more now. You can use baby spinach or just any tender spinach. Doesn't really matter. That is beautiful spinach you've got there. That just cuts yeah, so Yeah, and in the summer here, you can grow this in your own garden, which is very nice. Yeah. That's no, so nice. That would be the best way to avoid the pesticides and all, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you need, you can add more spinach or less spinach as you like. I usually okay. put a lot more in because I like spinach. Okay. Sure. It adds to the it's nutritional the taste, value. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Sure. Makes you feel better about eating the red meat. <laughs> and the carrots and chickpeas are almost done. Mm -hmm. We will add the okay. spinach in. I would put more, obviously. Yeah. And that's going to wilt down. That's going to wilt down. Do we need a little bit more broth in there? I don't know. Carol, what do you think? Maybe a little. Maybe a little. There we go. This smells really, really great. You can use a little more meat, a little less meat. You can cut it bigger. You can cut it smaller. You... Okay, what would go in next, Carol? We're almost done. Oh, all right. Yeah, we're almost out of ingredients. Wow. We're out of ingredients. Well, I'm, 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 looking, I'm watching that pan on we'll, the end there. We'll that looks so good. Top it up with a little bit of pepper. Freshly okay. done. Like that. Again, that's to taste. Should be good. And we will taste it for salt. Okay. I need that. There you go. Need a little salt. Thank you.
I'm usually tested once again, you know, when it's... You want the right combination of salty and the pomegranate molasses. Mm -hmm. You just have to be a little bit careful. Okay. And um, that's about it. Okay, well, it's about time to taste, and I, I do like doing that. So I've let's see <laughs> what happened with our couscous. We have a fork that we can... Yes. All right, Fluff just... it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a fork there somewhere. Huh? George, do you have a fork? A fork, yes. Oh wait, here's one big one. This will work. Right here. There we are. The idea Look is to that. have it fluffy, not. Oh, that's come out quite well. Yes. You know what we could it's do? Beautiful. Can I have the olive oil, please? This, this over here? No, the other one. Other one. Okay. Thank you. Just drizzle it lightly with olive oil. Yeah. Mm. You Thank go. you. Okay. All right. So we want some couscous on here first, right? We want some couscous sort of in a circle. Okay. If you're serving it for company, you mm -hmm. can you can put it on a big platter, put the couscous around it. Uh-huh. And may I have the mint, please? Sure. <laughs> Two handed here. <laughs> That's fine. And we put that sort of in the middle. Finished okay, dish. it's about yeah. time here to take a, a, a nice big bite of that, girl. Yeah. And a lot of people put chopped mint into it. Now that's okay. not my... That on there and I don't I like mint, so we're just garnish with Get a with bite it. here for you, George. Yeah, I want to take a little bite of that. But I've been watching that last pan over there. <laughs> it looks great. Thank you, ma'am. And if you like lamb, do you like lamb? Oh, lamb? I do like lamb. Yes, I do. You just very seldom see it. But how do you want to do that, you? Mmm. There you go. And that's why I like lamb. That is wonderful. Mm, thank you. Call the number you see on the screen, 800-443-1999. Go to kcts9.org and get a recipe that you haven't had in your home. And if you have, it was a long time ago. Try it yeah. again. Give us a call. Thank you, Carol, very, okay. very much. You're welcome. Delicious. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. Indeed. All righty. <laughs> little extra to the taste of it.